Okay, guys, it's an honor to lead you into battle this Euros. And uh, today, today we face the English. And I understand there's a little bit of history there between the two of you. Uh, so let's get out on that pitch and let's get stuck in. But um, maybe leave the weapons in the dressing room, guys. I think stabbing's still a red card offense. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Scotland here at Euro 2020 and today we get our tournament underway against the Czech Republic and then of course the English. We go into battle against the English and we can see there's already been one game in the group so far and uh, well 3-0 I think it was England beat, uh, yeah 3-0 England beat Croatia. So a uh, ominous start there for the English but maybe that's a good result for us in terms of getting out of the group with Croatia and it would be nice to get to maybe get out of the group overachieve a little bit with the country these Euros because so far um well you can't accuse me of overachieving can you but uh, anyway anyway well, there is well, one friendly we've got to catch you up on before we get to the Czech Republic game that was against Mexico of course last episode we introduced the squad and saw the first two friendlies Let's go see how we go on against the Mexicans. We sort of put together what we learned from the first two. And uh, well, let's see if it uh, equaled some progress for us. McTominay gave us a first half lead. But Orion Frederick's own goal got Mexico level before half time. Forrest crossed for Robertson to restore our advantage. But Mexico drew level again to snatch a draw. So there we go. I think we did, well, we did definitely progress. Mexico was, world rankings-wise, our toughest game. A 2-2 draw. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, an own goal as well. But, I mean, I think it, the header was on target. I actually don't think it should have been an own goal. But anyway, there we go. We can see we had a few players play well. Robertson as an out-and-out -out winger did quite well. Patterson as the target man up top. Not sure he quite worked. There's a couple of other players. I'm not sure they particularly worked. But generally speaking, uh, I think that's well, that was probably our best result so far against the best opposition we arguably played as well. So let's go and have a look and see what we're doing here against the Czech Republic. Now, in real life, of course, Scotland, I think, regretted not winning this game. We really do need to try and win this game, don't we? So this is the team we're going with. McCrory in goal. Tierney, Cooper, Suta, and Fredericks as our back four. McTominay as the ball-winning midfielder there, just trying to keep things tight for us. McGregor and Gold are going to be the midfield duo. I still haven't really settled on a midfield duo here, but I think they might work for us. Uh, Forrest and Robinson are the wingers. McBurney is going to play up top. We're going to play him as a target man, um, and uh, I think that works best to try and link everything up. Whether it should be on attack or on support, we'll kind of figure out as we go, but um, well, this is it. Let's see if we can get off to a winning start. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. The familiar names of the uh, Czech Republic side are, uh, are all there, aren't they? Patrick Schick, of course. Hopefully no goals from halfway for him today. Robertson is unsure as a winger. Uh, what do we want to say? We're, are we, we're not the favourites for the game. Um, give the fans something to cheer. Enjoy the game. Let's give the fans something to cheer today. Uh, Hamden, are we at Hamden Park? I've missed where we actually were playing. But, um, well, terrible team talk. And here we go with the national anthems. I've already, as you can see, I've donned the old Aberdeen jersey for this one. Hopefully, fire up some Scottish pride. And um, yeah, well, I think we, as a minimum, we need to take a draw from this game. One thing we have really struggled, and I've struggled throughout the whole Euros, you know, and all the teams that I've played with. Here we go with Gold. He had a chance there, but maybe just took too long. McGregor! Oh! I tell you what, that wasn't far off a Croatia flashback, was it? We've got defending to do. Yeah, just generally. Uh, you know, playing as as all the teams in the Euros, I've really struggled to set teams up defensively. It's a loose pass. McBurney picks it up. Now, can he go himself? He's got a little bit of support at the back post in Forest. He's oh, it's Robinson. Can Robinson cross it in? Robinson. He picks up McBurney. It's an own goal. No, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Or was it McBurney in there? Someone was in there. We've got a corner. Promising start. This gold. Decent ball in. It's headed away. Forest should pick it up. If he wants to run, he does get there. Now, can he whip across in? We've still got some players in the box. McBurney's lurking and it's lost, is it? What happened there? Was it blocked? And that will end the highlight. Let's give them some encouragement. It's been an encouraging start. Um, arguably, it's the best start we've had with any country. Although England was quite good, weren't they, when we played our first game against Croatia, though we did only manage a draw in that one. Um, but yeah, if we can keep a clean sheet here... We've shown in all the friendly games, we do have a goal in us. So that's that's a big positive. Tierney with a throw. Robinson has it. Can he whip a cross in? He can't quite yet. McBurney and Forrester in the box. 
Go on, Robbo. There it is. It's away. It's no, it's not. I thought it was going to find its way to Fredericks. And are we in a little bit of trouble here? We've got a few players on bookings, which isn't ideal. Suta, get a cross, mate. And McCrory is there to make the save. Um, more defending to do. Continue win that back for us, Tierney. No, gold. Gold pounces. All right, here we go. We've got gold. Looks wide for Fo uh, Forrest. Can he find McBurney? McGregor's getting forward. It's finally to McBurney. It's saved by the friggin' keeper again. Keeper's having a good day, and are we going to get mugged off here? We're playing quite well. This is the best we've played uh, in any of the friendlies. And, um, well, it's going to be nil-nil at the break. We just need that little bit of extra composure, don't we, in front of goal? All right, let's point our fingers. Let's say unlucky, boys. Things haven't quite gone for us. We'll pump our fists, say we have faith in them. And we'll get back out there. Suta on a booking isn't having a great game. We do have Finley and Kerr as oh, McCrory as well could play centre-back. Um, I mean, in theory, Tierney could play centre-back. Robinson could drop back in and we could use somebody like Fraser as an inverted winger, perhaps. But let's um, let's leave it as it is for now. It's a little bit of a case of, you know, so far, so good. Fredericks with a throw. Can we get this opening goal? Fredericks, cross in. McBurney's there. It's headed away. Robinson should pick it up, though. Tierney is with him, as is McTominay and McGregor. Robinson goes himself, though. Robinson for Forrest. Forrest! 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 James Forrest gives us a lead just after halftime. It's Scotland 1. It's Czech Republic 0. Let's tell him to focus. And what a start to the second half. That goal has been coming. We deserve that. And Robinson, well, he did a lot of that work himself, didn't he? Picked it up, drove into space, saw the run of Forrest. Good first touch. Excellent second touch. And finally, we've broken down this Czech Republic defense. Now, if we can keep a clean sheet, which I've never done <laughs> in international football, um, then we might just be a chance of three points here. And it would be a wonderful three points to start the group. And it would really set up the game against England as a game where we could guarantee ourselves progression already. It's oh, not quite a little bit too close to the goalkeeper, that one. Not the highlight, though. Ball forward. Is it a poor one? No, it's not. Fredericks, can he stop the man getting past him? He can't. Cooper comes across. McCrory's there to make the save. And Sutar is not having a great day. So we're going to call it on him. We're going to bring Jason Kerr on. Cross in. It's over everybody. Is it a free kick? Robinson is pushed by Patrick Schick. Uh, let's... Oh, God. Get that away, boys. Oh, it's set piece defending, but we got away with it. Okay, let's let's praise them. Let's praise them. We're doing well. 70 minutes gone. We already have a defensive midfielder in. Can we get a second goal? Gold from the corner. It's a decent one again, but again, it's headed away. And again, we find ourselves in a little bit of trouble at the back. Tierney, mate, you've got to get the round thing. Oh, it's wide. Thank God for that. Fredericks isn't having a great game. The backup right back would be, and he's having a nightmare now. The backup right back is uh, Hickey. So let's make that change. Let's go back to balanced off of attacking. Let's let's praise them again. And what can we do? All right, let's start and look to close this game down. Now, have I made two subs or one sub? I've made two subs. Um, I'm wondering if someone like McGinn on for someone like gold might be a sensible thing to do. McGregor's not having a great game, so let's make that change then. And that will see us out. Now, we don't need the fullbacks bombing on, so let's put them back to defend. Um, and we'll just start and just start and close this thing down a little bit. Uh, let's re... No, no, we'll keep counter-pressing. We'll slow... Do we want to regroup? Yeah, let's regroup. Um... That's all good. Let's let them keep the, kick the ball short, actually. Let's let them do that. If they, uh, you know, we might be able to slow them down, press them high up the pitch. And we're into stoppage time. We've got a throw. We'll go very defensive. Robertson has it. Can we wrap this thing up in stoppage time? Tierney. McGinn's in space if you want to use him, Tierney. Or you can just walk to the corner flag. That's fine as well. There's McGinn. Now, can he get a ball? Edge of the area for gold, perhaps. He plays it in for Robinson. It's blocked behind for a corner. Good play, though, boys. Excellent. Waste some time at the corner now. Tell him to focus again. Gold, check your shoelaces. Check your hair. You could have wasted more time there, mate. It's a decent one. Again, it's headed away. Forrest will get there. Will he? No. 
How has Forrest not got to that first? Get in. I don't care if he gets sent off. Somebody put a tackle in. Stop this. Stop this now, Hickey. It's there for Forrest. It's crossed in. It's the end of the highlight. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. We've got two minutes to go. Away, Tierney. Waste time, boys. Keep possession. Put some pressure on. Oh, Robinson, you've let him in behind. You've let him in behind. Oh, f*** off. The 94th minute, and we still can't keep a clean sheet. Unbelievable. How's he scored from there? Berate, get forward. I don't know. Oh, what a piss off that is. 1-1. One, one. Oh, I feel like we it feels like we lost that, doesn't it? Um Do we say there were some positives? Oh damn that. So there we go. Czech Republic rescued by Super Sub. Um Oh, that is heartbreaking. That is absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, well, there's how the group is shaping up. We go and face England next. Oh, we... All right, wait there. We'll be back for that. Okay, welcome back. It is time for the big one. We are facing England, and, well, let's hope we can get a good result here. Now, what I've done is kind of favoring a little bit the the Croatia game um so anybody that's a little bit tied where we're looking to rest so it's McCrory in goal Tini Cooper Suta and Fredericks will keep faith with them at the back and also McTominay as the defensive midfielder there gold will stay in the team but McGinn comes in for uh who wasn't McGregor who was not the best last time out Fraser comes in to play for Forrest for Forrest is a little bit tired I think we'd rather have him fresh for Croatia rather than near yeah, you know not really fit to go for this one so Fraser and Robinson will be the wingers Patterson comes in to play as a um as a, a target man on support he is a little bit better as a support player so if my plan here I'm expecting that we'll probably have a little bit less possession so maybe we want somebody up there that's a little bit better at holding the ball up for us and bringing everybody else into play that's the thought process let's see if it works out for us okay so we can see the team sheets there it looks like Declan Rice is a center back um Otherwise, there's no real surprises there, I don't think, is there? Um, all right, what do we want to say to them? Will the underdogs go out there cause an upset? Can we pump our fists and say that? Uh, can we point our fingers and say we have faith? I don't know why I bother. But no one listens to a word I say. But here we go. Huge, huge game. If we can take a point from this like uh, Scotland did in real life, that would be huge. Um, if we could win the game, it would well, essentially guarantee us getting out of the group because four points will do it. So... Let's see what we can do here. Not much happening yet, but to be honest, that's not too bad. If we can keep it tight, um, looks like the English are, all got their red frowny faces, so that's a positive for us. We just need to try and keep a clean sheet and wait for our chance, and that is just over the bar from Declan Rice. Um, but like I say, I haven't kept a clean sheet in international football yet, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, um, but this would be a wonderful place to start, wouldn't it? Uh, it has been a terrible game. Or as other people call it, an England game. They're not a good team to watch, are they? Here we go with Suta. Gets it wide there for Ryan Fraser. Got Patterson coming short. Is he going to use him? He probably should, mate. You're going to go yourself, McGinn. It's there for Robinson. Can he get a cross in? Patterson's lurking. Fraser, oh, penalty. Penalty. Is it going to be a penalty? It just might be a penalty. We're going to have a look at Barb. But Robinson may have won a penalty off Trent Alexander-Arnold. I have no idea who will take it. Absolutely no idea. Uh, Gold is a good technical player, so maybe we'd be looking at him. Is it going to be a penalty? Come on, ref. You know you want to give this. You know you want to give this. We've got it. We've got the penalty. All right, who is taking it? It is Ryan Gold. All right, come on, mate. It might well be a first Scotland goal if he can pull it away. Gold versus Pickford. Come on. Come on. Oh, he snuck it in. Pickford went the right way, but Gold snuck it in. Excellent stuff. It is a first Scottish goal for him. Wonderful stuff. Let's tell him to focus. And five minutes before half time, England nil, Scotland one. For the second time this tournament, we have taken a lead. This time, can we hang on to it? It's our only shot on goal. We've only had three on target. We've got a corner in first half. Stoppage time, and it's away from Liam Cooper, who is our captain. I, if you didn't pick up on that, I've made Liam Cooper captain for the tournament. Can gold now... Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, it's a wonderful block from Johnny Suter. 
We've got about 30 seconds to play. Grealish goes across to take the corner. Look at that. Wonderful reading the table. Behind my head, you can't see it. Trust me, it's wonderful reading. <laughs> McCrory makes the claim. And that is half time. We are 1-0 up over England. All right. Uh, we're please keep it up. We've what? No, it's a simple case of don't get complacent. Job's not done, boys. It's only half time. Let's keep pumping our fists. Say we have faith in them. Oh, we, we've lost Patterson. He's demotivated. Um... What's his work rate like? He's got a decent work rate. All right, let's leave him out there for now. I am temp I was tempted to... Um, what do we want to say? Let's praise them. Uh, to put in a pressing forward and maybe just make life as difficult as possible for them. But we'll see how he's going out there. Robinson is looking quite tired as left winger. Let's keep praising them. Time is ticking by. Um... Time is very much ticking by. I'm okay with a no highlight half. That's what we'd like to do. Fredericks with a throw. Gold is coming short, as is Fraser. Ah, oh, we've lost it to Sancho. Oh, don't do it. Cooper versus Calvert-Lewin, who's in. And, oh, it's a good block from Cooper. Ball forward nice and quickly, but we've got away with one there, perhaps. All right, let's take Patterson off. Let's get Shanklin on, and I want to use him. Can we use him as a pressing forward? We can on attack. He is, if he gets a chance, he'll likely take it. Uh, Gold is looking tired, but he's playing well. Do I want to take him off? Um, let's leave it at that, shall we? What we probably should do is just go off of attacking. And let's hope that this time we can see out stoppage time. Tierney with a free kick. Last minute of the 90. Gets it forward. Shanklin brings it down. Wide for Robinson. McGinn to Gold. To... No, it's cleared away. McTominay should pick that up, though. Gold. McGinn. Back to Gold. Shanklin to Robinson. Look at Tierney wide. Oh, we've not quite not quite seen that through. We again pick it up with Suta. Look at Fredericks. He does. Fraser's in space. Can Fredericks find him? Gold is there short. It's there for Fraser. Fraser. Back to Gold. Shanklin. Oh, there's almost a chance there. Can Shanklin turn? Robinson. Robinson. Oh... How close can you go? All right, we need to try and this time see out stoppage time. Are we going to beat England? That would be something, wouldn't it? Fredericks as a defensive right back is maybe not ideal. You know what we can do? I've just had a brainwave. Uh, we can stick on Finley at the back and just move Sutar out there as a... Uh, just go no nonsense for Finley. I don't... He's a good... Def oh, he's not the worst, but let's... All right, let's, well, let's just go centre back. Um... That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Ultra defensive. Let's try this again. And hopefully this time we manage to see it out. It would be a wonderful victory, wouldn't it? Um, let's keep counter-pressing. Let's just slow it down. And... Uh, that doesn't make sense to do that in counter-press. Here we go. Come on, boys. Please. Second time's a charm. And we've beaten the English. Go on, Scotland. Go on. Four points out of the group. And that should be enough to get us through. And we've rested a couple of players there as well. Wonderful, wonderful performance from our Scots. We've kept a clean sheet. That is arms outstretched, my boys. What a performance. So there we go. Four points from our two games. We go into the Croatia game in the knowledge that we're getting out of the group. I've finally done something useful and not uh, underachieved, but Scotland claim old enemy bragging rights. Uh, Southgate's men have beaten thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly beaten. And uh, well, there we go. We prove the surprise packet. We should have six points from the group, arguably. Uh, we were very unlucky to concede so late against the Czechs. And well, it's what, fifth, what, how many clubs, uh, nations is this? Fifth time's a charm, fourth time's a charm. That is wonderful, wonderful stuff. So there's the group. We are essentially through, at least as a third place team. And if we beat the Croatians, we will be going through as a group winners, which is superb. But that'll do it for today, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time as we take on Croatia, knowing a win will see us top the group. Take care. They fought like warrior poets. They fought like Scotsmen and won their freedom.